in in uh, stores such as pavilions bristol farms uh whole foods uh selected hughes your gelson's your mayfair uh selected ralph selected lucky so it's around you just have to look for the glass bottle that's what sets yours apart okay that was a year ago we're now back on the scene nothing much has changed i'm still holding a bottle of chocolate milk and i want to tell you ray that i have been to the supermarket many times since that first visit to have some of your chocolate milk it is wonderful thank you it's we we get a lot of good response on that we really do it's one of our all our products are premier but this one is right there right above and I'm sure, as you know, we're here for another reason today. <laughs> we're here for another reason. Now, we got to get the ceremonies out of the way because last time we were here, you gave Louie and you gave me those cow hats. Correct. You've kind of uh, notched things down a little bit. These are not quite as, they don't make quite the statement that the cow hat did. No, they don't. And what, what happened was the, uh, the supplier quit making that particular hat. Oh. So that was the end of that. <laughs> so those cow hats we had before are now collector's, collector's item. Collector's item, that's correct, yeah. All right, now how's business? Business is still doing good here? Oh, yeah, here? business is fine. I'm Selling uh, the eggs selling and the, the milk? Eggs, the milk, uh, the chocolate, and now uh, as we enter the holiday season, the, uh, the eggnog now we start uh, producing all the time now. The eggnog, that's what we're here for because we're all getting into this holiday spirit. And the eggnog is a tradition here at Brogares too, isn't it? That it is. It, uh, we actually get calls for it all year, all year long. The, uh, after you try it, you'll, you'll know. You'll know why people want it. But it's one that is a traditional one that usually we start the last week of October. Uh -huh. Possibly even the week before uh, Thanksgiving. And then you go right into... All the way to New Year's. All right, well, let me put this chocolate milk back up because if you know if I don't, I'll drink it right here on the spot. <laughs> you will, too. Oh. <laughs> I've seen you in action. All right, <laughs> and I'm going to take the hat, and we're going to go back inside where we were. There's some of that cow motif you oh, still yeah, got. Oh, yeah, we moved it over to the... Took it off the hats and moved it on the walls now. <laughs> I like this. Okay, we're going inside to look at the eggnog into the inner sanctums. Oh boy, the old gang is all still here. All of the guys, these are the same guys who were here a year ago a year when we ago, were here. Right, that's correct. I told you everybody loves it here. <laughs> all right, fellas, we're going to do a demonstration on how you're making your eggnog. So, Ray, tell us how this gets started, and you can go ahead and be doing it. Okay, you can see right now we have John pouring in the, uh, it's the ice cream uh, soft serve is basically what it is. You could almost make a malt out of this. It's that thick. The, uh, we have that one special made up with really some special ingredients and the extra cream for extra thickness. Oh boy, that is thick, thick, thick. Stuff. That is, it is. Okay, it's far so thicker than what you'll find in, the, in anybody else's brand, really. So you just put these bags full right in the cans. Correct. That's step number one. Step number one. Step number okay, one. Okay, we got step number one. Now, what's step number two? You got another fellow over here working on step number two. Yeah, step number two, that's the eggnog base itself. That is all the ingredients, the nutmeg, the, the spices, the everything that goes with it. The, all the flavors mixed into one. Any secret ingredients in there? There actually is. Actually, that, that one there, this particular one is from a formula that's better than 75 years old. All right, let's pour that in there. Oh, boy. Oh, and there's the guy with the mixer. Look at here, Louie. This is the same. Yeah. That's the real, now that's the whole thing we right there. We stir those there. up getting by hand. Thing mixed right. That's correct. Look at it, Louie. It's getting mixed. Let me turn it around so we can get him looking down in there. Go ahead and mix it a little bit. Yeah. Now, that's getting real thick, too. Isn't it, it is. As, it, as the ingredients blend up together, it all starts, you know, coming together, I guess you could say. All right, say. so he, you do all of this by hand, and then, well, you're, you're, I mean, so you're just mixing these cans all day long. That's correct. Okay, then what happens to it? Well, then they'll take it after the product is mixed up just right, and we'll pour it into the tank. All right, and there's so an ag agitator going on there to keep the, the nutmeg and everything that we use in there flowing. Okay, we're ready to pour it. I know that's easy to say. That's a heavy can. <laughs> Oh, boy. Now, how much eggnog 
do you sell every holiday season? Well, every year we sell just a little bit more. What we found is that it's always word of mouth. People try it, they, uh, they tell another, and every year the sales grow. I think last year we did right around 9,000 gallons. You ever run out of eggnog? Oh, we've run out of eggnog many a time, <laughs> yeah. So, fellas, do you all like it when the holidays get here, or do you dread having to make all this eggnog? I don't dread it, it's fun. It is? It goes by fast. You get sick of eggnog after a while? No, nah, not, too, not too much, because it's so... sick of it? Never. Love it. I love it. You like it? Oh, I've been doing it for a long time, so sometimes I do get sick of it. <laughs> and you like it, too. Oh, yeah. So these fellas are well fed. They're well nourished on the job. They are, and uh, usually about the last batch that we make, though, they're usually a little, <laughs> a little tired. <laughs> All right, let's pour one more batch in, and then we're going to go out front and taste this stuff. Oh, boy. OK, we're out front. We're standing here with Julio and Eddie, and you've got your granddaughter and her friend here today. Correct. You've got the whole crowd here. And, fellas, you're out front right on the firing line out here. How much eggnog? I mean, do you sell a lot of eggnog every year? Oh, yeah, I was so plenty. Like, I was telling you that some lady was fighting with us because we were out of eggnog. And she, she liked, didn't like that. She didn't like that because she called and uh, she said she was coming from real far. And she said, and we had some eggnog, but by the time she came here, it we all ran out. So. Uh oh, wait a minute. Yeah. You're running out of eggnog. Yeah, there's times where that does happen. Because you, know, you, you get a lot of people come in, they'll buy more than just one. I mean, they'll sit there and literally buy it by the case. Yeah. During the holiday time, especially Christmas time, Many, many people buy it and, and actually give it as gifts. So wait a minute. We're, we're, are we getting ourselves into something here? Because we're encouraging people to come out and buy it. And these poor guys are going to be on the front line here catching all the wrath of people if you're out of eggnog. There'll be no wrath this year. I, uh, we've stepped up the production. <laughs> I don't see any shortage. I really don't. All right. We got it down to a science. It took us 50 years, but we got it there. I'm going to take a taste because I come from a long line. The Hauser family had a long tradition of eggnog. Oh, boy. This is excellent. Excellent. Thank you. The Hauser recipe, I wouldn't swear by it, but I think there was a little bit of Jack Daniels <laughs> thrown in there. <laughs> we can't do that by law. <laughs> but that is allowable. It kind of adds that extra little, little touch. To Ru it. Rumor, rumor has it around here, you know, around the holiday time, a 10-gallon can will get done like that. But yeah, <laughs> I bet. Well, this has been a lot of fun. I would recommend that you come by the dairy anytime uh, just to visit with uh, the people here, the family here, and see what an old-time bottling place uh, looks like. Uh, but especially during the holiday season, this eggnog is worth the drive. Now, is this in stores as well? Yes, it is. It's in uh, supermarkets such as uh, Pavilions, uh, Bristol Farms, uh, some bonds, stores like that. Oh, boy. See how it just coats the bottle? I mean, oh, man. when you drink, it doesn't. the bottle doesn't turn clear right away. It coats. It is that oh, thick. Oh, man. This is the best. Well, it's been exactly a year since we were last out here at the dairy. It's now November, the year 2000. Great. And Ray called us up and invited us to come back out here because something very exciting has happened to your milk bottles. Certainly has. We've uh, <laughs> come out with a, a Hulehauser bottle. <laughs> a Huel, don't laugh out loud, please. Show some respect. Look at this, Louie. We got a Hulehauser chocolate milk and, and uh, eggnog and white milk. Why in the world did you decide to put my name and my face on your milk bottles? Well, as you know, Hugh, we do change the, the back of the bottles, you know, periodically. Yeah, this uh, is on the back of the bottle. We yeah. better, we still got broke ears, broke ears on, on the front. front. <laughs> We're, I'm on the back, but I'm working my way up. Yeah. And so we just kind of, um, you know, I just started thinking, I mean, you were out here, you know, uh, about two years in a row, I believe, and, and we've always had fun while you're here and enjoyed your company. And it's rare that we'll actually single out a person and put it on there. We, the messages are, are a lot of different ones on the back. But this one, we thought, you know what, it'd be just real neat to have a Huell Hauser bottle. And, you know, and a lot of people collect bottles. Uh huh. So, and, and 200 years from now, I mean, somebody's going to sit there and, and have a bottle in their collection with Huell Hauser. And 
when they look it up in the history books, they'll say, that's the guy that used to go visit Brogaris Dairy. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, uh... <laughs> they'll pull it out of a landfill somewhere <laughs> or a recycling well, plant or something. We're, we're going to actually hope it's not like the, uh, the picture on the milk cartons because those are lost people. But right. You, <laughs> we're going to try to... We're just having fun with this. Well, really it is a lot of fun, and, an honor to and have I got to tell you, it's it. The first time I walked into Pavilions last week, I shop at the Pavilions on the corner of uh, Melrose and Vine, uh -huh. and I also shop at the Jensen's out in Palm Springs. And to walk up to the milk uh, section and see <laughs> this on the side of the bottle, it really is quite. It, it took me aback the first time I saw it. <laughs> But it's really a very nice gesture. Thank you very much. I'm sending bottles home to all of my family back in Tennessee to prove to them that I really have made it. You've arrived. Out here. <laughs> well, you keep laughing about all of this. <laughs> well, you've really made it now. And uh, being on the milk bottle at Ray's, that's now, a great Now, are you thing. here to exchange bottles or what? Well, actually, we're here just to get you to sign it. We're big fans. <laughs> my son is school teacher, is a big fan of yours, Miss Matson at Oak Ridge Elementary. As a big fan, we wanted to get her signed up and bring her some eggnog. You signed a bottle. bottle. That's it. <laughs> See, this could be the beginning of a whole big thing. It's a possibility. Well, You've I, arrived, Jewel. We've had a lot of fun with this, but I must thank you. You're welcome. For doing this. This was very kind and very generous of you. It actually promotes uh, California's gold and visiting both uh, on KCET, and it was very, very nice of you to do that. And We'll end this little segment by reminding everybody that the eggnog is out in the, out in the, stores, out in the stores right now. These are special bottles of eggnog, because I think you have put a little Jack Daniels in these, <laughs> haven't you? We've been known to, right? <laughs> <laughs> Can't promise that you'll get the Jack Daniels, but you might look for these in the stores now uh, on the back of the bottle. But it's there. And I thank you very, very okay. much. Thank you, Hill. Happy holidays, everybody. Enjoy your eggnog. Visiting with Hewell Hauser is made possible through a generous grant from the Ralph M. Parsons Foundation. Casey.